Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NETCore and today I am going to show you the next part of uh, online voting system. In this project I am going to add, first of all, you can see that uh, role uh, uh, actually um, because uh, you know that a role is a mandatory to uh, everyone, pro every project and each project. So just after that uh, must to add or register the role features in uh, startup.cs file. So add roles, uh, you can just add it here and identity role, okay, and identity role is actually exist ASP dot ASP net core identity uh, namespace. So just resolve this uh, resolve this errors to related to the roles, okay. After add roles as an identity role in the startup dot cs file, you can manage their roles. And after that, you have to just use app dot use authentication feature, um, where you can uh, where you can navigate your uh, pages and the directories. And after that, you have to manage their endpoints because the you know that the identity server is built on a single uh, page, uh, and the razor pages. So just you can use use razor pages, okay, and now after that you can notice that uh, navigation uh, is hold home contact about but uh, not uh, linked with the login uh, and the partial login page so just add it here partial name login partial okay now after that you have to run your project and to see the register and the login links will disappear uh, will appear on your uh, navigation bar so register it here and you can just register it uh, with the some values to enter into the data okay and uh, and after that okay so just uh, open areas and the pages and the register.cshtml file where you can register it so first of all check the uh, in the cs file you can check just uh, properties so all properties are mentioned but in the register dot on uh, on post when uh, when click on the submit button then these properties are uh, submitted into the database table so just add it here online voting application user and here you can see that username and the email is given but after that you have to add some other properties like name city address etc so you have to just add it here after just email like the passwords and uh, so name property is there input dot name and the city is also mentioned input dot city similarly you have to add it uh, some fields After that, notice the profile image is also mentioned. So upload image. First of all, upload the image and after that, uh, just add the name into the profile image. So if you uh, just add it here, I form file, there is a no, uh, actually, it's a not a good thing to add it here because the profile image is getting from uh, the by the uh, by the clicking. Okay, so just uh, just before edit here. So profile image is upload image method and just upload image method written the string uh, file name. So also add in the form 
uh, nc type equals to multi part data and uh, here you can use iform file file equals to upload image input dot profile image okay so here we have a file so after upload the image just return the string file name from the file so profile image no it's not a profile image actually it's a image path okay and or you can say that uh, the file name okay so upload image method just call it here and just pass that file name the file is there so upload image is here so i form file and the file okay and in the profile image you just pass it the uh, image path i i mean to say that image uh, file name just pass the prop pro these property image path okay and uh, after that you have to use is a border that is default is false so just pass it here false false is actually not exist in the current context so just you can use small f instead of capital f okay so that thing is pretty good and register is successfully register okay so just uh, first of all add so upload uh, f uh, image just you can paste that code file name equals to null file is not equals to null then upload directory and upload directory is path dot combine web host environment dot web, web root path images is a folder name in the www root folder because where is your web root path so just open it and just create it images and uh, the file name is uh, use gyd property uh, pre the name of the file and after you can see that file path is getting from the path dot uh, from the pa uh, file path so private iweb host environment so here you can see web host environment just paste it here okay and just using namespace that microsoft asp.net core dot hosting is there the namespace is microsoft dot asp.net core dot hosting so iweb host environment is there okay so web host environment is there so just use web host environment now after that you have to run your project and uh, check the data on the browser and you also you can see that data will be posted on, uh, in the database uh, database file so just check it.